Okay, so we're looking at the uh, console cabinet here, and the top of it, like so many uh, cabinets like this, has suffered a lot of water staining damage, especially right in this area here. Some bad rings and the like. Now, I, I don't know much about this, you know, but I did read on the internet that one of the ways to correct this is simply heat, heat it up uh, to the point where the water can release from the... Uh, from the coating and you know from what I could read in the comments of people who've tried it it really works well the two ways of doing it is one is you use an iron you put a, a cloth over it and iron away to raise the temperature and another way is to just use a heat gun now I've got quite a powerful heat gun here so I'm gonna give a shot at this and we'll, we'll see what happens so I'm gonna get a picture of the whole thing here an image of the whole thing And uh, give it a go, see what happens. Especially, let's just look. Here's one ring in particular. Maybe I'll start with this one, see what I can I'm do. I'm floored. It. Look, the ring is gone. The ring is gone. Now there's, oh, I can still see a little bit of it. And there seems to be some roughing of the surface. I'm hoping that'll just wax away, but the ring, <coughs> excuse me, the ring is, is pretty much gone. Now I got this as measuring the temperature of it. Okay, you see it's around 83, but I got it up well over 100 degrees C. Pretty darn hot. The ring is not completely gone, it's so faded. The whole surface has gone rough though. Whew, pretty hot. And I'm just hoping that can polish back down. Wow. Okay, let's go after this thing. Hmm. Well, you know, I call that a stunning result. The uh, most of the water staining is gone. Now there's some marks here. It's really this is actual damage to the coating. The coating is gone. And where I heated it up, it's still pretty warm. To drive off the water, the coating has become rough. It, it's so this is nice and smooth here, but this is can hear it with my fingers. Visually, looking at it from this angle, looks pretty good, but if you get the light on it the right way, you can see the roughed up area. But I'm thinking that can be buffed out, which is what I'm going to try. Okay, so here's the cabinet after, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour's work on it or something like that. And uh, no water stains. You can still see some marks where I took the water stains off, especially if they have the light kind of coming on it the wrong way. But if you look at it from the right angle, it looks great. Of course, no one's going to look at it from the back side here. But just based on where it is in my living room and the, uh, the way the uh, light is shining on it, because it's coming in from behind, if you put this up against the wall, <coughs> excuse me, and you don't get this light shining this way, You'll see it more like more like this. Fantastic! I can't believe it. So it's true what I read. Heat up the uh, uh, wood where a water stain is, and the water will release from the uh, coating. And you got to heat it up a lot. I had that well up over 110, 120 degrees C. So I think with a little more polishing, even those uh, areas that look a little scuffed. Uh, will disappear. That's what I think. So, wow. It's looking pretty good.